Mobileye. Top 10 Powerful Motorcycles for Experienced Riders Only There's little doubt that now is a great time to be a motorcycle rider. There is a huge variety of bikes available on the market, new and used, for just about every need. And the technology, safety features, and power options that come with them are better than ever. But we also have to remember that no two riders are alike. In addition to your everyday experienced rider, there are professional-level racers, off-road explorers, and a new class of beginners graduating every single day. So not every bike is going to be a good fit for you, even more so if you're new to riding. 10. Harley-Davidson CVO Road Glide ST 127 horsepower. Powerful motorcycles aren't always extremely fast. Sometimes the engine is tuned to be more torque forward. It all depends on the purpose of the motorcycle, but regardless, they can still be difficult to control for new riders. Such is the case with Harley-Davidson's fastest bagger to date, the CVO Road Glide Saint. Though it's not particularly fast, and weighs an unfriendly 838 pounds, the massive Milwaukee 8 V-Twin outputs an addicting 145 lbft of torque. That should be enough grunt to make beginners question their decision to swing a leg over it. 9. Triumph Rocket 3 Storm 180 horsepower. Triumph has made some truly amazing motorcycles throughout its history. The current family of singles, twins, and triples in its lineup are all great motorcycles in their own way. But when it comes to sheer power, nothing beats the new 4 2024 Triumph Rocket 3 Storm. Blessed with a massive 2,458 cubic centimeters three-cylinder engine, the rocket outputs 166 lbft of torque and 179.5 horsepower. It's a motorcycle that shouldn't really exist and is definitely way too much for a beginner to handle. After all, we're talking about the biggest production engine on a motorcycle today. 8. Suzuki Hayabusa 187 horsepower. It's become somewhat of a joke among motorcycle riders that the Suzuki Hayabusa is the perfect beginner bike. It's only funny because of how truly inappropriate it is for riders who are just starting out. The Hayabusa is a legendary bike, with riders drawn to its powerful engine that's capable of breaching past 186 miles per hour should you remove its electronic limit. It's been through several generations and has retained its status as the ultimate drag strip bike. Even in stock form, this can do low 10 second quarter mile runs for fun. That tells you everything about how not beginner friendly this is. 7. KTM 1390 Super Duke or EVO 187 horsepower. There's no denying that if you're looking for some serious thrills, you should look no further than KTM. The company is known for producing some of the best dirt bikes on the market, and also happens to make the 1390 Super Duke. Wrapped in KTM's signature orange and black, and housing a killer V-twin, this wickedly fast street fighter is an apex predator waiting to strike. And though it may be a bit too much if you just got off your MSF Honda Rebel 250, KTM does make a few other variants of the Duke. The range starts from the super-capable 250 Duke and rises to the scarily fast 1390 shown here. Just don't skip directly to the most powerful one. 6. Yamaha YZF R1 197 horsepower. If you're on the lookout for a special bike to take to the racetrack, Yamaha has one to sell you. The YZF R1 sits at the top of the YZF food chain serving as the flagship superbike with nearly 200 ponies. The party trick, meanwhile, is its MotoGP-derived crossplane crankshaft which ensures unmatched low-end and mid-range grunt. This can be way too much for a beginner, hence its position on the list. We don't know for how long Yamaha will sell this, though. So we'd suggest you hurry up, get a 300 to 400 cubic centimeters sports bike, progress to a middleweight, and get the YZF R1 while you can. After next year, 
there's a strong chance we will only see this in the used market. And it's a shame, really. 5. MD Augusta Rush 1000 to 208 horsepower. The MD Augusta Rush 1000 is the result of a designer's imagination run amok. This modern hypernaked is unlike anything else on the street, looking like a proper custom build. Its looks are certainly divisive, but what everyone can agree on is that it has some serious punch when it comes to power. It's one of the most powerful naked bikes on the market, capable of breaching 200 miles per hour with ease. While these numbers may sound cool, they will suck you in and chew you out if you don't have enough experience. 4. BMW M1000RR 209 horsepower. Contrary to popular belief, not every competent sports bike comes from Japan. European manufacturers have plenty of answers to the big four. One such bike is the M1000RR, BMW's premium halo machine. It's about as advanced of a track weapon as it gets, with loads of technology, rider aids, and modern features. It's ultra-fast and nimble on the track, and surprisingly comfortable on a commute. But whoever has ridden one, including us, will tell you it's no joke. One twist of the wrist will take you past 100 miles per hour in the first gear, and you'll be hanging onto dear life even with all the rider aids turned on. This means it has no place in a rookie's garage. 3. Ducati Panigale V4S 210 horsepower. If you're left feeling cold by the German precision of the BMW M1000RR and need some Italian passion in your life, then Ducati's Panigale V4S may tick all the right boxes. It's more powerful than the BMW, if you take American norms out of question, and has a bit more torque. That's the perfect sales pitch to convince any experienced rider to pick this over the BMW. But for beginners, these are all reasons why you shouldn't even look at the Panigale, let alone consider it. 2. Honda CBR1000RR or Fireblade SP215 horsepower. The Fireblade is a legend among legends and a serious bike for serious riders. As long as Honda keeps making it, no one can ever say that Honda makes boring bikes. There's nothing even remotely boring or tame about the CBR1000RRR. With 215 horsepower, the SP screams to 186 miles per hour in just the fourth gear itself. Heck, the first gear is nearly tall enough to reach 120 miles per hour. For someone who's new to bikes, that's a recipe for a serious, serious mishap waiting to happen. 1. Kawasaki Ninja H2 or 310 horsepower. Every bike up to this point, despite being fairly advanced, can be considered child's play when compared to the awesome Kawasaki H2R. It packs a whopping 310 horsepower, 121 lbft of torque, and a face-peeling top speed of 250 miles per hour. Even hardened riders, with years of experience under their belt, will give this bike the appropriate amount of respect and giggle like babies when they whack open the gas. So just imagine how intimidated a beginner would be aboard this. Not to mention, nearly every part of the H2R is bespoke. Dump it and you'll be in serious debt. I hope to inspire you and help you learn more about your favorite theme. Subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think.